Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We've just uh, figured out who is the traitor of Frederick's Dream Caravan Company, and it is Jeremy. And I've just realized, because we've um, we've agreed with Jeremy that he would pay us 200 caps in order to, you know, put the blame on someone else, and then we actually betrayed him, even though he's a, you know, traitor himself, um, and the and Frederick said that we shouldn't hurt him. This is gonna be interesting now. <laughs> Let's see. How's it going, pal? I hope you put up to what we agreed upon. Don't try to set me up. Shut up and follow me, or else I'll kill you. I wouldn't have thought of that. Listen, Frederick offered me a little job out of town. He says you're free. Uh, you're to go with me. Trudge off into the wasteland just like that? Forget it. I'm not going anywhere. You can go tell Frederick that. I'm not saying it just like that. How about a hundred caps so you get something from it? He thinks about it for a while and eventually decides to accept the caps. Well, okay, I guess I can sacrifice, sacrifice some of my precious time. Where are we going exactly? You'll see. Set up for the desert with Jeremy. I have a feeling he's going to shoot me and I'm, we're very low on health, so that's going to be interesting. You're in the middle of a plane stretching to the horizon in all directions. The long journey exhausted Jeremy considerably. He seems to be very edgy. Damn, there's nothing here. What are we supposed to be doing here? You can guess, fucker, this is where you die. Shut up. Frederick knows everything. He wants you to leave said it for good. So get lost and don't try and coming back. So Frederick knows what I've been doing to him and he'll settle with banishing me from town? That loser doesn't even have the balls to have me killed. What about you? You can't be that yellow, come on. Why don't you try to take me down? I'm not in the mood for your blabbering, get lost. He spits in your direction, fucking chicken shit. That's too much. <laughs> Let him leave. Well, that was interesting. I was pretty sure he would, uh, he would attack us, but okay. We can be sure he's gonna, you know, come back with raiders. Woo, woo, woo. Well, that's not very far at all. So what else do we have to do here? Uh, oh yeah, we have to go to this place via downtown. Let's go to short lane first and tell Frederick of our incredibly successful quest. Alright, so... Glad to see you again. What can I do for you about the raiders? I've taken care of the rats. Thank you. I couldn't have done it on my own. He gives you 300 caps. You deserve the money and I've got another job for you. I'm listening. Good. At the time of your absence, I managed to find out where the raiders have set up their main hideout. Those cutthroats are right here in Sedit, more precisely in Lost Town. That's how they're able to attack my caravans right outside the town. Rumor is they're hiding somewhere underground, but I didn't find, uh, find out how to get to them. What do you want me to do? You have to find their hideout, he sighs, and kill all of them. I'm afraid there is no other way to prevent further attacks on the caravans. Hmm. I'll take care of them, nobody will survive. Okay, that's interesting. And we leveled up! Excellent! And we get a perk! Nice. Just a moment... Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Adrenaline on Rush. Uh, one strength when you drop below half of your max hit points. Which is very often. <laughs> but I don't like this stuff, you know, when you only get one strength when you're under a certain amount of health or something. Better criticals. 20% bonus on the critical hit table, almost ensuring that more damage will be done. Bonus range damage. Uh, your sequence dodger. You gain a plus five to your armor class in addition to the AC bonus from any armor worn. That's quite nice, actually. I never really took the dodger, but if you think about it, isn't this the best defense? I mean, forget armor. I mean, if you don't get hit at all, there's no damage. So, I don't know, might get that. Educated is also quite nice because it gives you extra skill points. Fortune Finder. Armless. 20% to your steel skills. Pretty useless. Uh, more criticals. That would be nice. 5% extra critical chance. Mutate! One of your traits is mutated into something else. Well, that would be nice, but you're wasting a perk. You know, just to uh, do that. Uh, Ranger, Scout, Sharpshooter. Nice. For each level of this perk, you get a plus two bonus to perception for the purpose of determining range modifiers. 
I might take that. Sharpshooter. I mean, our perception is 9, though. Mm, no. I think I'll take the Dodger, to be honest. I think that would be quite nice. And this is the last perk before level 12, of course. Or is it every three levels? It's every four levels, isn't it? No, it's every three. I don't know. Let's take the Dodger for now. Sounds quite useful. And also, let's get energy weapons up now, because uh, it appears like we'll... You know, fairly soon get energy weapons. There we go, 26 AC now. Alright, save over here. Uh, right, so let's go take care of these bandits, if we can. Obviously, we'll have to heal up as well. There's a police. But I don't care about nothing. Actually, let's go and sell at uh, Salem's, even though he's got cutthroat prices. But I think that'll be okay. Let's get rid of some of the extra stuff. <clears throat> Welcome! Alright, show me what you've got. Hmm, let's get a crowbar. That's gonna be good. There's a hunting rifle. Hunting rifle minimum strength is four, I believe. So it might be a little bit better than the sniper rifle. But then again, the sniper rifle is very accurate, even with our low strength. Uh, how are we doing with the ammunition, though? Where is it? 47, yeah, we're, yeah, we're kind of low on ammunition, to be honest. It's very expensive, though. Let's see what we can sell. A knife, some pistols, these bloody shurikens, this thing, this other thing, this thing. Yeah, quite a lot, actually. How much are the... Let's take all this. How much are the stim bags? Oh, he doesn't have any, does he? The doctor's bag. No. Let's take the rest of the, uh... These. <laughs> Alright, so let's put that back. Or, let's put it like this. Uh, no, like this. I don't want to be giving him money. Yeah. He's going to be giving me money. Oh, actually, I forgot. He's got quite a bit of money. So he could buy this. Well, he doesn't have enough. All right. So this is... Uh, six. Wait, what? Five. All right. Offer. Well, that's pretty good. I'm going to leave those things there. Might actually use rope here. I don't know. We'll see. So hopefully that uh, AC will help us in avoiding attacks. That would be quite nice. I wonder if you can use, uh, select it more than once. Probably not. Because you could just, you know, keep taking AC stuff. <laughs> Alright, so there's a the cave. Uh, but we really need to... Oh, this is so annoying. You can't sleep anywhere in these bloody towns. We have to get our health back up first and foremost. Um, great, there's another part of town, and then we can get out. I went, yeah. It's gonna be easiest, I think. Oh yeah, this, that's the Crimson Carolyn, isn't that the one? No. I'll have to remember to take a caravan when we, uh, when we leave this town. Because it's, you know, it's XP, it's money, and it's much faster and probably safer as well to, uh, to use a caravan to travel somewhere. Alright, let's rest until healed. And hopefully those Imperial uh, Palace quests will still be waiting for us when we get back. We just need much more, you know, much better armor, um, possibly metal armor. That would help against the plasma and laser. Well, not so much up against the plasma, but definitely against any laser attacks they might do. Um, come on. Jeez. Time is just running, even though that we've already healed up completely. A bit annoying, but oh well. I will not be there at night. There. Eight in the morning. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Now. Let's see just how much damage those death claws will be doing to us. Hopefully they're not tough. Like the ones we've uh, 
met out in the outside in the wasteland. All right, let's equip both things. There we go. Let's get in there. Got tired of your life? <laughs> All right, so there's one death claw. What are they? Okay, they're immature death claws. 75. That's okay. Where's the big ones though? Some first aid kit. Tooth. 10 millimeter AP. Don't see anything else up there so far. <clears throat> so, let's try to get this guy. Unfortunately, it's pretty dark in there. Whoa! Critically hit for 48. It blows him to the ground. That's nice. And now we can just go for the eyes and finish him off. Excellent. That's how I like to uh, shoot my death claws. <laughs> right, let's see what else is there. Hello? Fortunately, they're, um, you know, they're not all together here. Uh-oh. Never mind. We, we did aggro the other guy as well, but that's alright. Ah, no, 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 come on. How much does he have? Okay, he's gonna die in just one shot, but it definitely I'm still going to do the aim shot. Just in case. 18 only. It's not very good. Come on. Uh, yeah, let's go for the eyes. Excellent, 57. How much does he have left? 18. Nice, let's go for the head. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. Let's reload the 14 millimeter as well. That was awesome. All right, we can't loot them. I wonder which way we can go to... Uh, well, probably this way. Look at all this stuff. Is that a flare? Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. Oh, bloody hell. That's a huge death claw. I've forgotten how big they are. Holy crap. Wait, were they always this big? I don't remember them being that big. Jeez. This is gonna be, um, I've never seen the tooth. A common human tooth. Apparently the previous owner didn't need it, uh, anymore. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. No, 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 I didn't want to speak to it. Ah! Yeah, I should have, I should have just shot it right away. This is stupid. The eyes. Uh, 47, that's not bad. But there's more death claws coming. Oh, it didn't move. Excellent. Oh, no. Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> Crap. I'm dead now, aren't I? 62. That was not bad. Ow. Two hit points. Yeah, th this is the problem. They'll keep knocking me down. Like crazy. Well, we can finish it off if I'm lucky. Yes! Right, let's move, even though that means we don't get the extra two AC. I'm just gonna stay here, I guess. 52, very nice. Yeah, see, the extra AC is helping, I would say. 35, he's not gonna run away yet. Nice! Either we're very lucky, well, both. Oh, the AC is really helping. Look at that. Oh! Alright, let's use the sniper rifle to finish that poor thing off. I feel bad for killing them, but... Well... They kind of want to eat me. Oh, bloody hell, there's another one. See? This is the funny thing about this mod. The people outside give us so much trouble... Because they're armed and they have so much crazy health. Yet these death claws, let's see, the people have 75, but these big ass death claws have 140 only. And they're supposed to be horrible killing machines. I mean, you know, it's not quite there, the balancing. They should have given these death claws like 300 if they really wanted to make them dangerous. Can I? Damn it, it's, it's all this crap here in the way. I can't hit it. There's a lot of stuff here we can pick up. What is that? A hunting rifle. Let me see. A hunting rifle is a minimum strength of 5. Brilliant. So, don't really get much. 8 to 20. 14 to 34 and 50. So, it's a 
The sniper rifle is just a better all-around weapon. I should really save here. Because we're doing good. Hello. Oh, let's go for the head. Ugh. Why? There you go. 20 hit points. The eyes. Nice. 14. That's not that's not gonna cut it. <laughs> Come on. 59, nice. Massive damage and it's running away. And we have to do a normal shot. Keeps running away. How much does it have left? 13. I can finish it here. Excellent. That wasn't too bad, actually. Nah. I just need that nice shot. Come on. And that was 49. Not bad. Hello, 14mm pistol. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, this is pretty good. So anything else to pick up? Man, there's so much stuff. Look at this. Sledgehammer. Not really interested in that. Unless it was a super sledge. And even then, it's very heavy and we would have to sell it quickly. Because we don't have much uh, space. There's a lot of teeth about. A 10mm SMG. I wonder if a very high skilled um, sneak character could actually sneak in there. That would be interesting. Right, so I think we've killed all the death claws. Now we just need to find a way to get underground. Wow, this place actually has a lot of people. I was expecting something else. Huh? Mexican. This is Senor Rodriguez's place. Don't forget that. Uh, hunting rifle. Who's that guy? Tall, muscular Mexican. There'll be no match today. Come back on the 16th. I can't do a Spanish accent. I'm sorry. What match? Come back on the day of the next match. Cabron. Uh, wait, isn't Cabron a, an insult? I think it is. Oh, the pain. Right. So. This is some kind of a gang. What the hell is... Oh, an addict. Not fucking attraction, get lost. Who's this guy? Ah, a new lamb seeking my blessing. Welcome to my shrine. He probably sells drugs. Who are you? My name's Malcolm, but my flock calls me father. He points at the junkies lying around. What exactly do you offer here? What do I offer? God's nourishment, that's what. Nourishment that will provide you with divine experience. I offer you elevation. So close at hand. That is what I offer here. Well, what you mean is selling drugs, right? Some people call it that. But can one poor word give justice to God's gifts? No words do them justice. They have to be felt through all of one's senses. What do the police say about it? Lost town's not really their territory. That means police officers have a difficult access to my blessings. Still, I try to deliver God's gifts to those who are seeking elevation. It's not easy, though. Their infernal work orders them not to accept them. So what do you offer? I have plenty of God's gifts here for a laughingly low price, considering the pleasure they offer to one's senses. And then there is... He breathes in through his nose loudly. My own creation. I call it elevation. I'm interested in the elevation thing. First, you have to understand. God created many substances that seem to be without purpose, but he gave us that gift, the ability to alter and combine them, and thus create his gifts. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Elevation is my creation, my ability, but you cannot rise up immediately. You have to proceed in small doses. A single deep inhalation for 500 caps, these will make you rise, not more. Even the angels themselves cannot go close to the sun lest their wings should burn up. Wow. Isn't it hazardous to one's health? How could it? How can a gift from God be hazardous in any way? Repent, thou of little faith. I myself often elevate... And you can see I am healthy. I am more than that. I am fully blessed, enlightened, and thus I can send forth God's gifts to all who believe. I'd like to see what else you have to offer. 
Uh, well, he's got some right away and such. I mean, that's always useful. And quite, actually, um, cheap stim packs. I am not against that. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, that's... Does he buy teeth? I guess. I have some shurikens as well. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, a little bit of that as well. Oh, there we go. Uh, so six, nine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. Stim packs. Goodbye. I wonder what happens if you, if you do the whole elevation thing. I mean, I'm not interested in trying out drugs, but... Uh, oh. Still has stuff. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and he probably won't want me to fiddle with this. Yeah. Oh, it's locked. Can I unlock it? Oh, God's wrath will send you to your knees. Anyway. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. As always, check out my Patreon for more goodness. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.